Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Um, I realized I have not done Roxy's weekly challenge yet this week, so I thought I would do that this evening. Um, it's a little bit later than what I normally video, but it's Saturday and it's been pretty busy. So anyway, um, this week she did and I have a couple little examples here. Um, it's three. You glue this down on the page. You have a, a pocket here, a tuck spot here, and a pocket here. So it's three pockets from one sheet of paper. I folded up some different sizes of paper because I have different sized journals I like to work with and wanted to see like what size I would actually want mine to be. Um, but anyway, so I think most everybody knows the drill. You have 45 minutes to see how many you can get done. Um, so what I'm going to do is turn my timer on. I'm going to set the first timer for 25 minutes. And then when that goes off, I'll turn my camera off right back on and set it for another 20. I have to do that because my camera will only record so long before it automatically shuts off. So that's why I do that. So started my timer there. I have um, lots of papers here that I would like to try. I think I want to do um, maybe some book page too. I'm not sure. Um, really like that. I like the more muted. <laughs> I guess because to me they're more vintage -y. But I want to see what I want to start with. I don't really know. I really like um, let me go back here. Like some of these, but when you fold them up, it's like things are hidden in a bad spot. I'll show you what I mean. I need to get started on this or I'll run out of time before I even start. So I just have a small edge here. don't even know if I need... I'm not going to bother tearing that edge off because that's pretty close. So, you fold up. That's not right. Pull it this way. over. Bring this over. Wait, that's not right because this has to fold. Let's see. Yeah, that would have to fold. You see what I mean? I always seem to lose the um, the image that I would actually want on the front. You bolt that down. This one could go this way. Well, we could cover that. That's what I'm going to do. Let me get my small... Oh, where's my small cutter? I know, so I'll just grab this one. So I'm just going to cut that white edge off here. And we will just make do with this one. So I'm going to do, I'm going to fold up a few of these. I don't know what I want on the outside. 
what I want on the inside. I'll make a few um, prints. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this. I have a problem with the narrow. Almost did it. So I hope everybody's doing good today. Enjoying your weekend. I had to go to Providence get some painting supplies for my art class. Last couple weeks I've needed a certain color and I've been borrowing it and I don't like to do that. And when I um, checked like Hobby Lobby and Joann's and Michael's and all that, they didn't have the, the color. but. So that was my morning. I rather enjoyed it though. I was looking for I'm looking for a set of jacks. Um, you know, like the old fashioned game jacks. I want to have a grand a grandma granddaughter day with my eight year old granddaughter. I told her that she loves to get manicure and pedicures. So I told her we would um, get a Manny and Petty, go to lunch, come home, and I'm going to teach her how to play hopscotch and jacks. <laughs> and I'm having one heck of a time finding a set of jacks. So when I was at um, Dick Flick is where I went, when I was there, um, they had a little stand set up and it had all kinds of um, retro games and the like. And um, I asked them, I'm like, I'm looking for a set of jacks. I wish you had a set of jacks in that. They had like Slinky and, you know, all the old things. And one of the people there spoke up and said, there's a little antique shop just a couple doors down, and they get all types of old games and things like that. They might have them. So I went down there. Wow, I really liked it. It's like a inside flea market, basically. Um, I didn't have time to fully look through, but it has upstairs, a downstairs, the main floor. And I was like, ooh, I would like to have more time to spend one through there. That. And then maybe I'll do green one. So I have something different maybe. Seems like I printed out a lot of um, this one. This one's a little bit smaller though. That might be, that paper might be too small. That's why I didn't use that. Yeah, I used this one. But that was my morning. I rather enjoyed it. I had a couple other stores I had to stop at just to pick up general household things and things like that, but well, I could spend a fortune inside the art store, you know. <laughs> it's really nice um, where Dick Blick is located in Providence. There's all kinds of little 
shops on that street that I would really like to take time and, you know, outdoor cafes and things like that. That would be a fun day to spend. I think I'm going to cut this, well, you know, maybe down a little bit. I should have just done that while I was tearing. Oh well. Live and learn, Sheila. Live and learn. Um, because I don't want it. Well, I know what I can do. Alright, so we need to fold this up. Right? Was that the drill? No, sideways. This way. See, it puts everything... I wonder if I did fold it up and came this way. That'd be too small. Well, we'll just go with this. We'll fold it. And you can see I made this a little bit crooked, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to cut this one down a little bit. And then you bring this over. So I want to make this a little bit smaller. So I'm going to bring this about here. And I'm going to cut the end off there. I don't know if I have this straight. Well, I'm going to use my paper trimmer and just straighten this out some. My tearing definitely was not straight. And I'm going to cut the edge of this down. All right, so I'm going to start with these three. That one really doesn't require a whole lot because I have coffee stain on the back of that. This one's facing the other way, so it would probably go on that side of a page. This would go that side. All right, let's see. First thing I would want to do is um, put something here. Let's see what, what, what would we, let me move this. Have some. These are sort of neutral. I think I have. It's been so long since I've been in these, I can't remember <laughs> what is what. side there. I feel a little bit quiet. I don't know why. I'll keep that out just in case I need that for something else. <coughs> I think sometimes Person is just quiet. Let's see. I don't mind that. I'll put that back there. I think. Why not? Still fighting with my chair and rug situation. So I want to line the inside of that. bottom. Oh. I'll just use some of this. I don't 
feel like I move very quickly. I need to get a move on. I want to put this down. Um, maybe not. Let's see what this looks like underneath here. I just thought it would be easier for me to line this before I glue it shut. Alright, where'd my card go? this blue much. Um, what you need to do, because this needs to be left open, you need to glue down the side. I need to glue this down. And we'll just keep that on there for added reinforcement. So that goes up that way. This comes this way. Then we glue the two short sides. gluing this back closed. Let's set that aside. You get this one lined. And I saw something here. Maybe it's not. I don't know if that's enough contrast on that or not. Maybe I'll... I want to use that. I don't know. Maybe I'll use this. As you can see, I am still struggling with my hand. It's, it seems to be, act, uh, quite honestly, getting worse than better. And my right hand is starting. My right hand is just, it doesn't have the pain this hand has. It just tingles. Tingles, tingles, tingles. Like it's asleep all the time. can't have anything happen to my craft hand. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. Go out of my mind. That's for sure. Of course, I probably just messed this up. Let's see. I wish I would have torn or made this one a little bit smaller. But sometimes you have whiter journals that they would work in. All right, let's glue this down. Um, 
Tools. Oops. Well, I received an email or a message from Herida, one of the um, subby giveaway winners. She's in Germany and she received her journal in a box. She received it yesterday. And the other winner was in Australia, so I know it's going to take a while longer to get there. But quite honestly, I mailed that journal out on, was it this Monday? I think this Monday. Yeah, and um, she already received it, so that's pretty uh, amazing. <laughs> I don't know why I, yeah, that end gets glued, then the two short ends. Then I'm going to trim this up. Let's see. Get this one all glued. This one, I feel like I. Wouldn't necessarily have to line since it has. Tea stained paper back there, so I'm not going to line that. I'm going to glue this. And then the two short ends. going to focus on decorating these however I want them decorated before I move on to more. So this one needs trimmed up. This one's quite a mess. Oh. Sorry about that. It's me just getting over the hump of the rug with my chair. Just a smidgen off of this so my edges are That, that didn't stick. Did I glue that side? I'm going to have to glue that. What I do? Only glue one side? Make sure we keep this top open here. Make sure that stayed open. It did. Wish I 
wish I would have inked before I glued. Would have been easier. This one I should trim down too. Seems like I've been working in smaller journals. So these this one seems so large, I don't know why. Let's see how big it is. And this one's like four four inches wide, which isn't bad. Not bad at all, actually. All right. Now, what am I going to do with this? This is the hard part for me. I have pulled all kinds of stuff. Like I have some um, of I d made stamps a long time ago. I have. Oh, I sort of like that on there, <laughs> which I have not used but very little I might no I don't really like that color on there I might put that stamp on there all right there's my 25 minutes so I'm going to turn this off and come back and set the timer for 20 okay go to my timer 20 minutes there we go I may be lucky to get three done. Um, let's see. I think I need to focus on one at a time. I do like this stamp. I don't know why, but I really like that stamp on there. Um, let me eat this. And it may be all it needs. I don't know. I don't think you have to over-decorate it. Because at the end of the day, you're adding something in this side pocket, this pocket on top, and this pocket here. I don't know. I want to decide if I want something. I really like the colors around her. Oh, I like the green one, too. Wow. I might put the lady. I'm going to stop playing with that. But do I have any use that I would like to use on the other ones? Lindy. We'll do something else on that. Let's see. Do I want something behind that? Decisions, decisions, right? I'm going to glue this down. I like that on there. I don't think that's colorful. I don't think I'm adding anything more to this. I'm going to lay that aside and as I work along here, maybe my mind will change or I'll run across something. And I can't tear paper worth a darn. I just thought. I don't think 
it means anything. All right, stop messing with that one. Um, I have little drawers next to me that are... I have a lot of mostly Tim Holtz, a few little things I fussy butted, uh, fussy butted, <laughs> fussy cutted, fussy cut, um, some doilies, um, a lot of well, some flowers. That this is from a Tim Holtz kit. Well, not a kit, but it, you know what I mean. That's some Tim Holtz flowers. I still have some um, pieces left from a, uh, what is it, My Porch Prints. Oh, I sort of like that. Maybe with a little bit behind it. No. No. No, 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 no. have a bird. Let's see what else I can come up with. Uh, butterflies, stickers. What do I have in here? I'm trying to decide, like, maybe I will use a butterfly on this one. Not crazy about this one, quite honestly. What do I want on here? Don't know what that's doing in there. That must be from a fast cleanup job. These are sort of small. I need bigger. Not that big. Not too big. Oh, another birdie. Nope. fails, I start going to my tags, or tickets rather. It was supposed to be warm today, you know, like in the low 80s and it really wasn't until late today like just in the last hour or so it heated up I'm just going to pull some of those out of there I might use some tickets let's see hands don't want to, don't want to bend. I wonder where's that?
Why do I make this so difficult? Probably use a butterfly on something here. thinking if I put something back there I have to use up the, all these paper dolls I have way too many Digging through my little drawers here. I need something to inspire me. Nothing is doing it. Don't like that rose. drawer back out. This drawer seems to be the drawer I have the most luck with. Where's my... Well, let me do this. I'm going to... I'm going to glue that on. sort of like that so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to use this glue. This is thinner but I think it's the edges seem to mess up my glue stick. I'm going to put that down there. that aside. Let's see what we can do with this one now. <laughs> I have my little fabric thing here. Let me get a third glue out.
hands don't want to work. They just don't want to work. I like that one better. This one I still feel like needs something. I don't want to... And what else could I add to that now? I feel like something needs to go on top of that. Maybe too small. Or I might add that mushroom. Nothing has to make sense, right? Mushroom. So that one in its own funky little way is done. <laughs> Let's see, what else? What can we do to you? Because this one really bothers me. I think it's because I don't like it. <laughs> um, Walking dog with a group of kids playing outside. Sorry. bigger I can put behind. This might be a little bit too big. Okay, moving now. I like that. I'm going to put that down. Didn't mean to use this glue. Oh, that was lucky. I want to move this down further. I think. Uh oh. Oh, right there. Yeah, move that down more. my glue it's practically dried add a little bit of this glue to it too 
lay down, knock it off. She thinks she's the neighborhood police. That's what she thinks. I need something to wipe this. Gotta love it crazy with the glue. Sort of want this down further. I <laughs> I get in a hurry and then I just start slapping things down. This one's going to be in there. It might have been nice to have something like that behind it. I pull that up again. So my time is up, but I'm going to finish this one. I don't know if that's already adhered to there. Gingerly pull that up. I'm going to stick this ticket back here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I waste so much time trying to figure out what it is I want to do. You know, and I do the best at collage when I just don't care if it makes sense. Okay. These things have been pulled up so much, they're like, they're refusing to dry because they think they're going to be lifted up again. <laughs> we're like, ah, I'm not going to bother drying. It's just going to tear me up here in a second. Now, I like this one, especially once you get stuff in it. All right, so let's see. Let's see what I have done here. I've opened almost every bottle of blue I have. Alright. So we have this and this and this. Which I'm okay. I really thought I was going to be able to get a bunch of these done. But I tell you what throws me for a loop is when I start to decorate, especially when I'm not decorating it for a specific journal. I think sometimes it's a little bit easier when you know. I don't know. But um, I like all three of them. I look at them individually and I'm pleased with what I've, what I've done. This was my least favorite. Now I think it may be my favorite. Anyway, without further ado, I will let you all go. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Thank you very much to all of my subscribers. You are greatly appreciated. And um, I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday and happy crafting. Bye-bye.